The upcoming Sony Alpha 7 V, rumored to be officially announced in November 2025, is shaping up to be one of the most exciting mirrorless camera releases in years, blending Sony's trusted innovation with next-generation imaging technology that could redefine the mid-to-high-end mirrorless segment. According to recent leaks and speculation across tech communities, the Sony a7 V might feature a brand new 40 megapixel sensor, marking a significant upgrade from the 33 mm P sensor found in the Alpha 7 IV. This rumored jump in resolution suggests that Sony aims to strike a perfect balance between detail, dynamic range, and low light performance. While some earlier reports hinted at the continuation of a 33 mm P stacked sensor, the latest information suggests that Sony has opted for a redesigned 40 mm P BSI CMOS sensor without a global shutter, potentially prioritizing image quality, tonal accuracy, and improved readout speeds over full electronic shutter capture. The Alpha 7 V is also rumored to include 15 frames per second burst shooting, which, while not record-breaking, would still be impressive for a hybrid camera at this level, particularly when combined with Sony's latest real-time AI tracking autofocus system. Built using advanced deep learning algorithms, this next-gen AI processor will reportedly allow the A7 V to detect not only faces and eyes, but also entire body structures, silhouettes, and even complex movements in low-light situations, making it an incredible tool for photographers shooting wildlife, sports, or cinematic portraits. The inclusion of AI-assisted autofocus puts the Alpha 7 V in direct competition with Canon's forthcoming EOS R6 Mark III and Nikon's Z6 III, signaling Sony's intent to dominate the hybrid camera market again in 2025. Design-wise, the Sony Alpha 7 V is expected to retain the ergonomic DNA of the A7 IV and A7 R5, but with refined handling, potentially adopting the deeper, more comfortable grip design seen on the A7 R5 and A9 III. The body is rumored to use a robust magnesium alloy frame for better durability and weather sealing, appealing to professionals who often shoot in extreme environments. Reports also indicate a dual articulating display system that supports both tilt and full vary angle modes, a design that photographers and videographers have long requested. This flexible screen will make high angle, low angle, and vlogging shots easier than ever, especially when combined with Sony's intuitive menu interface and customizable touch controls. The electronic viewfinder is expected to have around 5.76 million dots, offering exceptional clarity and color accuracy though not quite matching the 9.44 million dot EVF of Sony's higher-end models like the A1 and A9 III. Still, for a camera that's positioned in the middle of Sony's Alpha lineup, the A7 V5's viewfinder should deliver a premium experience that feels remarkably close to flagship territory. Another exciting rumor surrounding the Sony A7 V involves its advanced image processor, likely an evolution of the Bion's XR engine, or potentially a newer dual-processor setup that enhances overall speed, heat management, and power efficiency. This upgrade would help enable smoother 4K 60fps and possibly even 4K 120fps video recording, though whether that higher frame rate will come with a crop remains to be seen. Video shooters will also appreciate the inclusion of 10-bit 4.22 internal recording, a Cinetone color profile, and improved rolling shutter control. Aligning the A7 V closer to Sony's professional cinema line, such as the FX30 and FX3. The rumor mill even suggests that the A7 V could include new heat dissipation technology inspired by the A1 and FX series bodies, which would allow for extended recording sessions without overheating, an issue that plagued some earlier Alpha models. As for storage and connectivity, the Sony Alpha 7 V is rumored to feature dual memory card slots supporting CFX Press Type A and SD UHS-2 cards, giving creators flexibility in managing high bitrate files, USB-C 3.2 for faster data transfer, full-size HDMI output, and improved wireless connectivity with 5G Hz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.2 are also expected. Battery life should see improvements thanks to better power management and Sony's tried-and-true NPFZ100 battery, ensuring longer shoots on a single charge. For creators who rely on seamless workflow integration, the camera will likely support tethered shooting, USB streaming, and Sony's creator's app ecosystem for wireless transfers and live content management. When it comes to pricing, sources suggest the Sony a7 V will launch around $2,199 in the US, or roughly Y440,000 in Japan, about Y100,000 more than the Alpha 7 IV. 
While this positions it above what used to be considered a mid-range model, the inflation of camera pricing across the market means the A7V's cost will still feel competitive, especially when compared to other hybrid full-frame models like the Canon R6 Mark III or Panasonic S5 IIX. It's also worth noting that Sony's pricing strategy aligns with its broader ecosystem of professional and enthusiast users who value performance, reliability, and innovation over budget constraints. Despite the higher cost, the A7 V could easily become one of the most value-packed cameras in Sony's lineup if it integrates flagship-level autofocus and advanced video capabilities at a sub-$3,000 price point. In terms of release schedule, insiders claim the Sony A7 V will be announced in November 2025, with shipping expected to begin in early 2026, likely January or February. This aligns with Sony's traditional launch timeline, where new alpha cameras are revealed just before the new year and released shortly after CES. Some delays might have occurred earlier due to component shortages or market timing, but with competition intensifying from Canon and Nikon, Sony seems poised to regain momentum with the A7 V. The rumor of a global shutter being excluded might disappoint some, but Sony's strategy appears to focus on maximizing overall performance rather than chasing specs that inflate cost or compromise dynamic range. If these leaks prove accurate, the Alpha 7 V could represent the ideal middle ground between the ultra-high resolution A7R5 and the low-light powerhouse A7S III, offering photographers and hybrid creators a balanced all-in-one solution. It's being described as the do-everything camera in Sony's 2025 lineup, capable of handling everything from wedding photography and street portraits to cinematic content creation and documentary work. With AI-powered autofocus, refined ergonomics, enhanced dynamic range, and an improved processor pipeline, the Sony A7 V looks set to become a new benchmark in hybrid full-frame performance. Whether you're a longtime Sony Alpha user or someone considering switching from Canon or Nikon, this release will be one to watch closely. As we approach its rumored November 2025 unveiling, expect more precise specifications, sample images, and real-world performance details to surface giving a clearer picture of how the A7 V fits into Sony's ever-evolving Alpha ecosystem. With everything pointing toward innovation, intelligence, and imaging excellence, the Sony Alpha 7 V could truly be the mirrorless camera that defines the next generation of photography and videography.